you want to pray you want to pray and you know as the pastor said god is preparing something for someone here there's a miracle that god is preparing for yeah, for someone and anytime god has an intention to do something an intention to lift somebody up an intention to change the status of someone or the status of a nation he provides the opportunity when god wants to start a new thing he provides the opportunity to give he provides an avenue to give and this is about what the message is this is what the message is about and you want to ask the lord you want to ask the lord speak i am listening speak to my heart oh god i want you to speak to my understanding oh god help me to comprehend comprehend the message of this hour the message of this moment in the mighty name of jesus in jesus name we pray we're going to pray concerning even the network we're going to pray to be restored i want us to open up and say to be restored the communication network you know we don't own the internet we don't own the uh, we don't own all those platforms but our god owns everything and we're going to pray that the lord will cause the communication line with the philippines to be restored in the mighty name of jesus i want you to pray that the lord will cause restoration a communication line all the hindrances all the barriers all the, 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 the things that are hindering oh god the complete flow of information we're praying that the lord will cause a restoration remove all the barriers remove all the obstacles in our way in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of jesus open your mouth god answers prayers with him nothing is impossible with god nothing is impossible in the name of jesus christ in jesus name we pray look at the case of daniel when daniel and the children of israel were waiting for an answer from heaven for a change of situation a change of status uh, a response from heaven and but then there was uh, you know the the devil was resisting the prayer in the heavenlies the devil was there resisting the prayers but god opened the eyes of, of daniel and he saw a little bit more we're going to pray every resistance in the heavenlies to your blessing every resistance in the heavenlies to move you forward every resistance in the heavenlies by the prince of Asia, by the powers of darkness to keep you in bondage in bondage to death in bondage uh, to material you know bondage to, to poverty you're going to pray you're going to ask the lord that every such resistance be broken by the power of god every such resistance in the heavenlies resistance in the spirit realm to him that the move of God to move the church forward to move the church out of poverty to move people out of poverty we pray that every such resistance be broken every such resistance be broken in your family be broken in our churches be broken in your life be broken in the mighty name of Jesus you know the Bible is real the pastor said the word of God is very very straightforward give and it shall be given unto us but that thing that does not make us to understand it that thing that does not make us to connect with the word of god and connect with practical part of the word we're going to pray every such stronghold be broken be broken out of our lives be removed from our lives in the mighty name of jesus you know when god wants to bless he creates an opportunity nothing will hinder it we are able to go up and take the country possess the land from Jordan to the sea though the giants may be on our way God will surely go us a victory God will surely give us a victory God will promote us God will lift us up God is taking us somewhere in the mighty name of Jesus we pray father that this will be done it will be answered it this prayer will be answered it will be actualized in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray praise the Lord the Bible says the kingdom of God suffered violence. And the violent do what? They take things by force. You're going to take your destiny by force. We're going to take our lives by force. You're going to take your prosperity by force. It's not just going to come easy. It's going to come by prayers. It's going to come by sacrifice. It's going to come very intentional. It's going to be intentional. Wherever you are, I want you to lift up your hands to God. Your, they say the kingdom of God suffered violence. 
the violent will take it by force. And I take my, I take my destiny by force. I take my prosperity by force. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I am taking my destiny by force. I am taking my, my, my progress by force. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am moving forward by force. Every force of darkness, every force of resistance, every force in limiting forces, in the mighty name of Jesus, be broken, be broken to pieces, be broken asunder. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray for ourselves. You know, you, unity is very important. When it comes to taking possession of destinies, when it comes to triumphing over that, you're triumphing to possess your possession, there's a need for unity. Unity in our of hearts. Unity of purpose. Unity in the spirit. God is with us, we know. God is with you, we know. But are we united? An emblem of God's presence, an indicator of God's presence is also unity with one another. We're going to break the spirit of disunity. We're going to break the power of this unity. Everything that makes us discordant and throws us out of that thing, thing to possess our possession. You know, it's very easy. God could have called Abraham and said to Abraham, if you, you know, God said to Abraham, if you obey me, I will do certain things. But the full spectrum of what God was planning to do, Abraham didn't really comprehend it, but he just obeyed he obeyed it's easy to say if you do this you're becoming a millionaire and everybody will say yes i now understand it better if you do this god is giving you nations if everybody understands that very at times the specifics when it's not coming faith believes even when the specifics are not at play are you going to say father activate my faith in the mighty name of jesus every fear and worry be broken out of my life in the mighty name of jesus you're going to pray and say lord the power of self the power Power of limitations, the power, oh God, of indolence, every power that wants to keep me down. I pray in the name of Jesus, be broken out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power, the power not to not move forward, the power that makes you see darkness instead of light, the power that wants to make you to see failure instead of success, the power that wants to make you to see your own limits, your own limits and failures as opposed to seeing the might of God. Let the power be broken. Let the power be broken. In the name of Jesus, I want you to say finally, I will see the glory of the Lord. I will see the strength of the Lord. I will see the power of the Lord. I will see his image. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I need media team to at least, I need to be sure people are hearing me. Praise the Lord. Media team, at least unmute yourself and respond if you can hear me. Hallelujah. 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 I can tell you that God is still in the of miracle. Amen. Amen. Just as Pastor Charles was on the point that God should touch the internet, mm -hmm. the internet was touched. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The internet came back. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we continue um, about sacrificial giving. Uh, when we give sacrificially, I told us the last thing I was talking about is that sacrificial giving is what we do to avert the devastating plan of the enemy against our life and our future. Sacrificial giving is a new foundation we lay to build a strong, fresh future for our destiny. Sacrificial giving is an act of love to show God how important he is in our life. Sacrificial giving is a painful act towards a personality you reverence or respect so much to show your appreciation for him. The Lord will give us grace to be able to give sacrificially in Jesus' name. Why do we give cause for sacrificial giving? Of course, the need around us will tell us what we need to give. Let's take a quick look 
At Genesis chapter 8, verse 18, I'm on the second point, the causes for sacrificial giving that prosper. Noah went forth, and Noah went forth, Genesis chapter 8, from verse 18. And Noah went forth, and his sons, and his wife, and his sons' wives with him. Every beast, every creeping thing, and every fowl, and uh, whatsoever creepeth upon the earth after their kind, went forth out of the ark. And Noah builded an altar unto the Lord, and took of every clean beast, and every clean fowl, and offered for burnt offering on the altar, burnt offering on the altar. When Noah be that, what happened next? The Lord made a sweet savor. When you give sacrificially, the aroma of it, the perfume of your gifts, the flame of your gifts ascends to heaven. Verse 21, and the Lord made a sweet savor. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again cause the ground anymore for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything living as I have done. Because he, um, Noah gave sacrificially, he made an offering to the Lord. He made the sacrifice unto the Lord. God changed his mind. Your offering can make God to change his mind. And I pray that somebody's destiny is going to be turned around for good in Jesus' name. Uh, when we give sacrificially, uh, it shows you are not ungrateful towards God. It shows that you are appreciative of the goodness and the mercy of God in your life. Sacrificial giving proves your true love for your God. It shows your total reliance on God and not on yourself or your ability. Realizing and understanding that the arm of the flesh will fail. Sacrificial giving shows your value for God. How much you value God. When you give sacrificially, not just giving anything. You know some people, even the normal regular tithes, when it comes to giving, uh, their income is 1,000. The tithe is 100. And they will come, they will give five, they will give 10, they will give 15, they will give 20. You have not given heartily. You have not given honestly and sincerely, talk less of this special one we're talking about that is going to be sacrificial. Your tithe is not sacrificial. It's just your normal obligation. Normal regular of, of offering is your normal obligation, bringing all the tithe into the storehouses, the Lord. But when we're talking about sacrificial giving, we're talking about something beyond the ordinary, beyond the ordinary. So sacrificial giving will take you to another realm of God's blessing. People don't realize that. This is why we give. Sacrificial giving will change your entire destiny and your generation. Look at Abraham. The generation changed completely and totally. Isaac became blessed. Jacob became blessed. And the whole nation of Israel, look at it. They are all blessed. blessed. Sacrificial giving will prove your preferred place of your treasure before the throne of grace. Sacrificial giving will prove your preferred place of your treasure before the throne of grace. Let's look at a few people, of course, in the course of talking. You see, I've mentioned quite a number of them. But let's quickly go over the catalog of these people again. Uh, the cases, the catalog of people that gave sacrificially. I told you already, God gave his only begotten son sacrificially to save humanity. John 3.16. Abel gave the best of his livestock to show a deep love for God. Genesis chapter 4, verses 3 to 8. Abraham gave his only son sacrificially to please the heart of the almighty God. Of course, you find out in Genesis, and then you come to Hebrews chapter 11, verses 17 to 19. Uh, a Moabite king sacrificed his child to win a battle that he was losing. You know, when you're losing a battle in life, and you give special offering to God, you caught the favor of the Lord, and God turned things around for you. Look at that in 2 Kings chapter 3, verses 26 and 27. Solomon gave to dedicate God's house. 
not that alone. You remember that man called Jephthah, who made a vow to the Lord, and at the end of the day, to test his commitment, his devotion, his consecration, his loyalty to the God of heaven that gave him victory, the first person that showed up to him was his only daughter, and Jephthah will not fall back. You will not fall back anything that you have promised the Lord. In Jesus' name, Jephthah fulfilled his vow unto the Lord. In Judges chapter 11, verses 29 to 40. Because of our time, I'm trying to save some time. So we're not reading all the references, but I'm giving them to you so you can go read them on your own. David bought a land, we read that earlier on, to stop the dangerous plague on God's people. The Shunemite woman gave to sustain the prophet Elijah. And you see, or you see what happened to her. God visited her, blessed her, and turned her situation around. Barrenness was taken away. And I prophesy to your life any form of barrenness, spiritual barrenness, physical barrenness, matrimonial barrenness, financial barrenness, academic barrenness, whatever the barrenness may be, the Lord will take it away from your life completely in Jesus' name. And uh, you remember the case of that uh, military officer that the people of his place said built synagogues for Israel in Luke chapter 7, uh, verses 2 to 5. Barnabas sold his land and gave all the money for the work of God, for the work of God in Acts of the Apostles chapter 4, verses 30, 36 to 37. He gave everything. Now look at people that give sparingly. Look at people that give deceitfully. Look at people that give grudgingly. Ananias and Sapphira, they also gave, but they didn't give all. They didn't give heartily. They didn't give sincerely. They didn't give joyfully. They gave grudgingly, and the cause came upon them. They you not be under cause in Jesus' name. And then we talked about Mary of Bethany, who gave sacrificially the salary of a whole year. She gave it at one time in perfume, in ointment, and the order filled everywhere. I may I tell you this, the order of that ointment is still smelling it today. And I pray that your labor in life will not be in vain in Jesus' name. Again, I told you about the widow that had only one penny, and she gave everything. If we are going to give, what will be the condition, the fourth thing now? Condition for prosperity through sacrificial giving. Again, I have said all this in between all that I'm saying, but just for you to still understand better, Genesis chapter 4, verses 3 to 8. Genesis chapter 4, verses 3 to 8. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the first, first lane of his flock and of the fat thereof. Mark that word, fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wrong. And his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wrong? And why is thy countenance falling? If thou dwest well, if thou dwest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou dwest not well, send light at the door. People that are not giving heartily to God, sin lies at their door. People that are giving grudgingly, sin lies at their door. People that are not honest and sincere in giving to the Lord, sin lies at their door. And unto thee shall his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. You see, there are people, when they see others that are giving, because they are not giving, uh, because they are not giving the way those people are giving, they come up with all kinds of excuses. 
uh, they will give them names. Uh, it's the, it's, it is show off. Uh, it is this. It is that. Ah, it is past us this. It is past us that. Uh, I pray that you will not be a king. Killing the spirits of givers. Killing the morale of givers. Hindering the progress of the work of the Lord in Jesus' name. But rather, you will be a co-laborer together with us and with Christ in Jesus' name. Look at that again. Luke 638. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together and running over. Shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that you made, with that, it shall be measured to you also again in Jesus' name. I said it before. But let me say it again. The mystery in sacrificial giving is that your generation are connected to everlasting blessing. Not just about you, but your generation and your generations to come. They are all connected to it because you have paid the price for them. You are like a fountain of life that will never run dry. A tree planted by the water you will be. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7 and 8 says, blessed is, blessed is the man that trusted in, in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is, for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that sp uh, spread it out of a root by the river, and shall not see when it cometh, but a leaf shall be green, I need an amen. Your leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall it cease from yielding fruit. You will forever be fruitful and productive in Jesus' name. Think about people who gave their land in the church, gave their car for the church project, gave huge amount of money, built churches in different places, gave seriously during church building projects. Such people never lack in life. You will never lack. I say you will never lie. Say amen for yourself, and I say amen for myself in Jesus' name. We neither will the generation of sacrificial givers lie in Jesus' name. Sacrificial givers are turned to ocean of wealth. God makes them fountain of greatness. You may be one of them, and I pray you will be one of them in Jesus' name. No one has ever involved in sacrificial giving without constant and surprisingly being blessed by the law. They always get heavenly visitation. I told you about that already. God blessed that man. Now, the real message here is obedience. Come with me to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verses 1 to 14. We are not going to read. But you can read it on your own. The list of the blessings you see on this in this scripture are meant for those that are obedient uh, to the Lord. You'll be obedient in Jesus' name. I say you'll be obedient in Jesus' name. And so, you want to be sure you are doing your best for the Lord. You are serving the Lord. You are honoring the Lord. You are appreciating God. In all that you do, and the blessings of God be multiplied unto you, the grace of God will increase and multiply in Jesus' name. So, give again, it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down, shaking together, running over, shall men give unto your bosom. I pray that as you give, your giving, your labor, your life, will be rewarded by the God of heaven in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So, God is calling you. God is calling me. God is calling each and every one of us to this life of giving. And as we give, it will be well with us in Jesus' name. I said as we give, it shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Obey the Lord. Give. Give heartily. Give joyfully. Give with all your hearts. But then let me say this. 
if you are going to give, give your heart to the Lord first. You must be born again. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Every act of sacrificial giving manifested in the honor of God brings blessing. Any destiny that is connected to God through sacrificial giving cannot be stopped by the devil. <laughs> the devil cannot stop you, cannot stop your blessing, cannot hinder you in any way or form, cannot terminate your life. Men that have made great successes have always connected their testimonies to sacrifice, sacrificial giving. Prosperity is a mystery. When God has given you the key, you will prosper without limitation. I need someone to say amen to that. Abraham is a perfect example for us to follow. If you call him our father, he will be a father unto us. You must be born again. You must have administration, admiration of abundance, abundant life of prosperity. Admire prosperity. What did I just say? Admire prosperity. People that are stingy, people that don't give, they don't admire prosperity. Or maybe they are ignorant of the secret of blessing. Admire prosperity. My, the Bible tells us, Mark 11, 24, Therefore I say unto you, what things of us ye desire when ye pray? Believe that you receive them, and you will have them. When you do your part, ask God to do his part, and God will do his part for you. Admit and accept you can have it. You can be blessed. I say you can be blessed. And Paul said, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I don't care your situation right now. I don't care your condition right now. You can be blessed and be blessed in Jesus' name. And for then, you need to abide in the truth and obedience to the word of God. Abide in the truth and obedience to the word of God. Avoid erroneous teachings and his teachers. You see people that are coming with all kinds of error out there, avoid them. We are told in Galatians chapter 1, verse 8, though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a cause. Associate with men of faith like passion, faith like passion. People that have the passion for God, people that are sacrificial giver, uh, associate with them, don't disconnect from them. Some people, they see some people doing some business and they saw them being blessed. They don't know the secret. And they go to the people, they want to do the same business. You can do the business. You can even do it double. If you don't have the kind of spirit of sacrificial giving they have, you will not be blessed like they have been blessed. But I pray your situation is turning around from today in Jesus' name. Be addicted to diligence in hard work and conscientious sowing and not taking. There are people that all they do is just taking, 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 like cancer. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Don't be a burden to yourself. Don't be a burden to your spouse. Don't be a burden to your community. Seest thou, a man who is doing that in his business, he shall stand before kings, not before mean men. Agree with me. Agree with our general superintendents. Agree with all the pastors in the church. And pastor, don't base anything on your situation. That is the problem we have many a times. You look at yourself, look at your income, look at your congregation, you look at everything, and then you conclude, we cannot. I cancel that negativity in your life in Jesus' name. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. If you will believe God, you will see God doing great and mighty things in your life. And then make sure the number of things I told you, just the number of things, your tithe and offering, don't deprive God of it. Give it joyfully, so into other people's life. And when you do all this, I get to the fifth thing, the confirmation, the confirmation of prosperity through sacrificial giving. Testimonies abound of God's faithfulness and blessing, all true, uh, in blessing all true believers who gave freely and sincerely to God. Look at their life. Look at their ministry. Look at everything that they do. You see somebody prospering in ministry, you're questioning why. Why? It's because 
they are giving sacrificially, not because it is convenient. Many of us are waiting for a convenient time. No, it is not about convenience. When it is convenient, then it is no more a sacrifice. It is when it is not convenient for you, and you go out of your way that you see the miracle happening. When you give, what are the blessings that you confer on you? You'll be a generational blessing. Amen. You've heard of generational cause again and again. This is my position. I am a blessing to my generation. I am a blessing to my congregation. I am a blessing to my world. Say for yourself, and you'll see God doing it. There'll be victory over your enemy. God will give you victory over enemy. And then there'll be abundance of blessing, unlimited blessing coming your way. Unlimited blessing coming your way. And then there'll be heavenly recognition for you. Look at the woman we read about, Mary of Bethany. See, today we are talking about her. The aroma of your gift will ascend to heaven. Remember Gideon, burnt offering, made a sacrifice. And then the aroma went to heaven. And the miracle happened. The anointing came. The call came. The power came. The favor came. People that wanted to kill him, they couldn't. That's why it was called Jeruba. Look at uh, Samson. The parents of Samson, they made sacrifice. As the smoke goes on, the angel went. Their offering was accepted unto God. There be heavenly recognition. And then I uh, look at uh, Matthew chapter 26. Verses 6 to 13 for that. And then look at Mark, chapter 12, verses 41 to 44. There will be divine intervention and protection. Divine intervention and protection will be for you, will be upon you in Jesus' name. All around family blessing will be your portion. I need an amen there. There will be divine providence. There will be divine providence. Your bounds will be filled with plenty. Riches without sorrow will be your portion. Eternal and earthly reward you will have. All things in your life will be made possible by the grace and the power of God. Once again, there will be divine visitation and satisfaction in time of famine. The Lord is calling on you. The Lord is calling on me. The Lord is calling on all of us to give. And as we give, the Lord will bless us. We are going to pray now, but don't go. I need to give you more information, and then the pastors will take it over from there. Let us pray. Commit yourself to the hands of the Lord. That the God of heaven will bless you, will help you to be obedient to the word of God. The Lord will make you to be a blessing to your generation, to channel a pathway of blessing for your generation. Talk to the Lord, prosperity through sacrificial giving. People in the Bible days, they sold their lands. At the time of Elisha, they had to go and borrow the ass to win wood because they were to build. Remember when the head of the axe fell into the water, the man cried unto Elisha, my Lord, we borrowed it. Can you borrow for God's glory? You can borrow to buy your own car. You can borrow to build, to buy your own house. You can borrow to send your children to school. Can you borrow to build the house of the Lord? Or you are one of those that will always complain. Why are they giving us this amount of money? Where are we going to get it? You will get it in Jesus' name. It is poverty that makes people to talk that way. You know, you know, let me tell you this. Uh, there is somebody, if I mention his name, some of you in New York area, you will know him very well. He had a major issue. And uh, somebody was contacted, and this person was given $50 million. $50 million. And he started his business, 
and that was how everything turned around. I pray in your life, in my life, everything will turn around in Jesus' name. Talk to God. I am no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. I will no longer be negative. I will no longer look to my ability, but divine ability. I will not be negative anymore. I will strive to be in the number of people that are building for the Lord. God is calling you. Our Father in the Lord is calling you. The church is calling you. You say, I have my own projects. This is a higher project. You say, eh, we need to buy our own church building. Uh -uh. When a higher law and a lower law meets, the higher law supersedes the lower law. Honor the law with your substance. With your substance. And you will be blessed. Your life will turn around. Your situation will be turned around. You will be a generational blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. As we round up, have you given your life to Christ Jesus? Are you walking in the newness of life? Are you born again? Is your name in the book of life? Cornelius was a good giver, but he was not complete until salvation came. If you are not yet born again, you are a witchy, witchy believer, I don't to tell the Lord, visit me now. Turn my life around. Help me to give you the best that I have, my heart, that my life and labor may I be rewarded by you. Cleanse me from all sin. Cleanse me from all sin. Write my name in the book of life. Make me yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Precious Father, we are grateful unto you for the opportunity and the privilege like this to talk to ourselves, to deliver ourselves from the yokes, the bondage, the chakos, and the petals of the enemy, to call upon you as you expect us to do so that you can showcase your glory in our lives and through our lives. I pray for as many right now that are still living in sin, in transgression, walking in the dark, that you will visit them. You will turn their lives around. You grant them the grace to be sincerely and genuinely converted in Jesus' name, that their lives will not be wasted here in Jesus' name. And for all of us together, the grace to give of our substance, of the blessings you have given unto us, even if we don't have to go the extra mile to give unto you, give us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for answering. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. At this time, media department, let me hear them shouting hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, we bless the Lord again for the service of the day. Yes, you can mute them now. Media department, you can mute them. Uh, we bless the Lord for the service of today. You are all still in your various churches, and uh, your pastor will be talking to you, but let me open the gate already, the door. Uh, as you know, a few years back, 
the church started building the conference center in Lagos, Nigeria. And the work has been ongoing. It is enormous. And do we made to know at that point in time that it's going to cost billions of, upon billions of money. And we started it. I remember very well that some of you committed to what we said. We gave us a target of 1 million for our region at that time. Unfortunately, I am ashamed to tell us that up to today, we have not gotten up to 400,000. Why some faithfully gave? Some are in the business of not giving. The Lord will forgive them. Now the church has come, not for us to give one million now, but to give multiples of that. And over here, this is not a secret. This is something to build for the Lord. And the money is not for any human being. So if you're going to complain, maybe you complain to God, but in reality, don't complain at all. If you're looking at your resources, and I'm looking at my resources, we are all going to be negative. But the Bible says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from where is coming my hair. My hair comes from God, the maker of heaven and earth. There are people that will give 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. You know, I'm waiting for a time that in this church, when we talk like this, somebody will, one person out. Say, I'm giving 100,000, 500,000, a million dollars. Do you believe that can happen? Media department, help me here. Do you believe that can happen, everybody? Yeah. I believe. Yes. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe that in our midst, God will raise up millionaires in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So whatever we are going to do, I will just throw it out there. Uh, as a nation, we have been asked to come up with $13 million. $13 million. And this is not from our Titan offering. We're still going to pay our Titan offering because we still have to maintain the church. This is going to come from you and come from me. And that is why I use that word sacrificial giving. And it's not that you give now and then because of that you don't pay your title, not when you rob Peter to pay Paul. No. Whatever you have in your bank account, God allow you to have it there and the same God can replenish everything back for you. In Jesus' name. For our region, in case you don't know, let me just lay it out today. Whenever we are giving anything to pay nationally, because God has blessed us with you and bless you with me. We actually, as a region, pay 28%. So the mathematicians there, if you do the calculation of 28% of 30 million, it comes out to be $3,640,000. And we're supposed to come up with this money within the next four months. So even if we divide it into four, let us see what that would mean in a month. That will be $910,000 a month. For me, God has not changed. The same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He will do it again. He will do it again. In Jesus' name. So pastors, please, at this point, uh, the figures have been sent to you. I'm just doing this to help you to encourage your members to get uh, the ball rolling. And uh, you take it from there. However you want to do it, the figure that I was giving you, uh, try to see how to go about it in your location and start sending the money in. 
God bless you richly and mightily. So, pastors, over to you now. I will stop it here, and then you take it over from here as you begin to uh, work with your members. Or if you want to do it with them another day, uh, that is fine. But understand, the month of September is almost over. And so if you don't get something done right away, um, it may be getting too late. It's teach in time saves nine. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless your labor. And the Lord will continue to multiply all of us together in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. We we'll share the grace together, and then we will disconnect the uh, Zoom so that you can concentrate on your people. Uh, shall we all share the grace together in fellowship? One, two, go. Media department, or meet the people. One, two, go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of the Lord, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, us now forever. Amen. All the days of the days of the Lord, the of the house of the Lord, I will the the house of the Lord, the house of the Thank you so much. God bless you. I'm bless you too. Recording stopped. We thank Almighty God that uh, we have had. Uh, there's a lot of things I don't tell the the church here because of our nature, and then I want to appreciate Pastor our regional officer for understanding. I won't deceive you. I don't think there's any amount of money they have given to us that uh, I want to say maybe we contributed. Uh, when I see that, I know what I mean. And then uh, uh, the church, uh, they never play a uh, attitude of or neglect us. I don't know. We I can say we receive mercy, and then we. God is helping us. As I told us, uh, by the grace of the Lord, because of the nature of the church, our income is very, very, very minimal. And all of us know, we see all my child, sister Richard, and then brother the now. Uh, I often say that I don't want to say we contribute anything to the headquarters at all, no matter what the case may be. Uh, and then God will permit me so that we don't look like I'm lying. But when you look at the uh, the range of expectation, the little, very, very, very minimal, 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 we are doing. To me, it is zero, very total is zero contribution to the headquarters. Uh, but I thank God that the arrow never look at that. Uh, I think about two days ago, I and my son, we are discussing about it. There are still one, another one we are trying to fix. I think it remained $100 or something like that to balance up. That's what they minimum amount of money they give us. I don't want this one to discourage us because I know the situation of every one of us. And then I don't want to say I'm trying. And don't want to say anything at all. Because when you look at the boss headquarters gave to us, when you look at what I told us the uh, when I went to the DC recently, what the arrow gave to me personally 
and a lot of things he has been doing personally. I think, uh, let me to be sincere, we are online. Uh, there are two or three, two or three times, or so I can't say, I don't want to be exaggerating that he's under $2,000 to us that okay for this for this for this uh, uh, i think the last one he did i have to ask i wrote him i asked him sir, how do you get money because i know you are a pastor so uh he didn't reply me we just look at me as this boy is a small boy he doesn't know the source of god words but I often say that not that we in our own I don't want us to I don't want to promote us at all, but I want you to know, given your time for church to be assisting, do all what we are doing around the world uh in Charlotte Fay is a little contribution we are contributing contributing to the kingdom of God. And by the power and the blood of Jesus, God has been rewarding us. God has been rewarding me. God has been rewarding my family. God, I was talking to my child yesterday, and we diagonalize what God has done. Uh, in our capacity, no. No. And I let him know, my son, do you know this one is the to the grace, to the love of daddy, by almighty God. So God will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. Uh, I don't want to say anything more than that, but no matter what the case may be, I will let you know how much they give to the church. Oh. Uh, I'm not bothering you. I'm still saying, I'm not, but I know the you, everybody's status. But, uh, and there is not the matter of doing individually whatever that is done to the uh, headquarters. Is the Palabibu Church Charlotte Way that did it. And I want you to know, I was talking to Arrow uh, one day, and then I want you to know there's nobody he doesn't know among you. There's nobody he does not know among you. And I pray that Almighty God will continue to give us the strength in Jesus' name. The last time we were talking, he told me, all oh, what just I don't want from you to continue to be faithful, to continue to be faithful. And Almighty God will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. So let me see, among the gift of us, uh, and then despite all that, I want to my child, my children. They know. I think there is nothing I hide from them, either by accidentally or by purely opening to them. There is nothing God has not given my family that people can say, "Okay, these people are having your family. What about you?" Uh, there is nothing. I don't count it as a result of faithfulness, but I thank it. I count it as a result of love of God in our life. My we my children sacrifice a lot, and I know every one of you sacrifice a lot, and I pray that Almighty God will reward every one of you in Jesus' name. Our labor of love will not be in vain in Jesus' name. Let me uh, say the amount they give for us. Come in, please. There's nothing God cannot do, as Haru said. Uh, there's nobody God cannot use. But I want us to say, as I say it, you say it to yourself. He will use me in Jesus' name. Oh, yeah, say it. He use me. In Je- Sister Rita, say it. In Jesus' name. I can't me. Oh, yeah, say it. He will use me in Jesus' name. 
coin. Il me dit ça, c'est ça. Amen. Je vraiment apprécie mes enfants. Je ne suis pas présent dans mon pupit. Je vraiment apprécie les gens. Nous avons eu un accident. Et puis, il était comme, oh Dieu, comment tu peux nous faire de ça? Ma fille était vraiment pleurée. Et tout ce que je me souviens, c'est que mon père a utilisé mon argent pour faire le car. It was very, very touchful. At long run, my son said, okay, we will not go away from this place. Go and tell the people that you eat their car. So my daughter was crying. The son was saying, okay, you must go and tell them that you eat their car. I was so confused. I don't know what to do. And it was on the mission. Uh, at long run, till today, They collected our lancet, they collected my lancet, they call but till today we had nothing. We had nothing. I remember they called me back, they said we love you, we still want to be seeing you. So God will continue to be with us. I appreciate you, my children. Everybody is a little metric for your commitment. Almighty God will continue to be with you in Jesus' name. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will not miss heaven in Jesus' name. Uh, I'm trying to see the amount that was given to us. Uh, I know people are watching us online. <laughs> Recently, I was talking to one of our electronic department. Uh, I see, I wish I see because the sin is mm. okay. Maybe God didn't want me to see it online. Uh, if I see, oh, 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 mm. I will let us know tomorrow, but I'm afraid of because. Uh, two of you, I know that you understand we have been together for so long. You understand all what is going on. I'm afraid of announcing it tomorrow because of many members that uh, we are strong. The we are struggling, struggling to establish their feet in the church. So I don't want it to be as if uh, it's as a result of money we are talking. No matter what the case may be, I uh, will let us. Uh, the amount of money they give to us about is thousands. But God will help us in Jesus' name. I must say that let us bring our title, our friend. You already do that. Okay. Uh okay. Okay, let's share the grace. Let's share the grace. We did that already. I think we we third quarter. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> we did everything. Okay. So thank you. God bless you. Do not forget to, to take whatever you need. Uh take three three uh yeah. Take three. It just church is given two today, so it should be two two. But take three three. Okay. God bless you. Thank you.
Kid pays cash for costumes. Outgrown kids' costumes? No problem. Last year's spooky costume can be this year's cash, or even more in-store credit. Buy, sell, and save.